Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about a topic called Mechanical Properties of Solids. In that, we would like to solve a problem. The problem is like this. If the length of the wire is stretched double to its length, how does the elongation is got affected? We know these are obviously depending on stress and strain. We have a, as this is about the length, we have a stress acting along the length called something like longitudinal stress. We know as per the Hooke's law, this longitudinal stress is directly proportional to longitudinal strain. Longitudinal stress is force by area. Longitudinal strain is increase in the length by original length. We also know the proportionality is eliminated with a constant called Young's modulus. So we can write Young's modulus as force by area, longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain. Rearranging the terms, force into length by area into delta L. Now it is given in the problem that if the information is given only along the length, is given like if length is doubled, a wire is stretched in such a way that its length is doubled. So you have applied some force, its length is doubled. Because you have doubled the length, y is not going to be affected because y is a measure of nature of the material, it depends on the nature of the material. As the material remains same, Young's modulus remains same. How delta L get affected is our question. Our further question is, if length is doubled, how area of cross section get affected? This is an important question. Do we see like, I double the length but still, Area of cross section remains the same. No, it's not possible. Say this is the wire having a certain length, certain area of cross section. Now you have applied force. So, what happened as you have applied the force? The length got doubled. It's no more the same L. Length got increased. It's obvious that. As L increases, its thickness or area of cross section decreases because length doesn't increase from the sky. Somebody has to contribute. As the length is increasing, the thickness of a given metal automatically decreases. Then we need to see what remains constant. I would like to say the volume of the material remains constant volume of the wire who is nothing but the product of area of cross section and increase in the length is going to remain constant as no information is given about the area i would like to write that area of cross section as constant by delta l so as there is no information available about area in the given formula I am simply avoiding the area and writing it in terms of available data like L. So, Young's modulus is force into length. In the place of area, I can write, sorry, volume is nothing but area into length. Not I am not writing a change in volume, rather I am writing a volume. So, area will be constant by length obviously. So, is it not? Volume is nothing but equal to area into length. Therefore, area is nothing but constant by length. So, I will eliminate the area in this equation and write it in terms of the length which is given in the data. So, in the place of area, constant by length multiplied by delta L. Rearranging the terms, Young's modulus equal to F into L into L by some constant k delta l. So I can rewrite the terms delta l as f 
L square by K Y. Now in the given data, F is a constant, K is already constant, Hink's modulus is constant for a given material. Then what we can write? Delta L increase in the length of a wire is directly proportional to L square. Now let's come to the question. Delta L1 by delta L2 equal to L1 by L2 whole square. Now increase in the length in the first case when the length is L. In the second case when the length is doubled that is 2L is L by 2L whole square. L and L will get cancelled 1 by 4. So I can say delta L2 is 4 times of delta L. What it means is if the length is only L, if the length is only L, if the wire expands by some x, when the length is stretched double to the length, the wire is going to expand by a value of 4x. It's not 2x, it's 4x because we have eliminated area and written in terms of the given data of the problem that's nothing but length thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you